going to start by stretching out the neck. We're going to start sitting nice and tall. Bring the chin to the chest. And then take your gaze up towards the ceiling and the sky. And the chin comes to your chest. And take your gaze up one more time. So this time we're going to come back to neutral. You're going to take your gaze over your left shoulder. And then over to the right shoulder. And bring it back to the left shoulder. This time you're going to take your gaze up, around, over to that right shoulder. One more time, up and around, back to that left shoulder. This time we're going to go all the way around. Go up to the right shoulder, and then the chin's going to drop, drop to the chest. And roll that left ear to your left shoulder. Now we're going to reverse it. Chin comes back to your chest. And right ear, right shoulder. Let's bring it to neutral. Take a nice deep inhale. Arms reach up. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, we're going to fold. From here, try to take a nice deep inhale into the rib cage. Fill up the back ribs. And as you exhale, try to melt your heart towards your shins. Release a little bit of that tension in your hips. And then we're going to walk over the right side. Keeping the left sits bones anchored to the ground. Good job. And from here, you're going to inhale, arms up overhead. And the left hand's going to come down on the mat. Right arm reaches over your head. Take that gaze under your arm. Here, the right hand's going to reach across, giving a nice little twist. This time, keeping the right sits bone anchored to the ground. Next inhale, you're going to reach your arms up overhead and place your hands behind your back. We're going to reverse the cross of the legs. Nice. Inhale up tall. Exhale, fold forward again. Inhale, filling up those back ribs. Exhale, folding a little deeper. This time we're going to walk your hands over to the left side. And that right sit bone anchor down. Good job. One more inhale. One more exhale. And with the next inhale, you're going to bring your arms up overhead again. This time, release the right hand to the mat. Left arm reaches over your head, looking under your arm. And then we're going to add a twist. Take that left hand. Place it over by the right. Keeping the left sit bone anchor down. A little bend in the elbows to get deeper in the stretch. Grab another inhale. And another exhale. So you can go a little deeper. With the next inhale, you're going to bring your arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Now we're going to open up the legs. To a straddle position. Feet are flexed. Knees are pointing up towards the sky. Inhale, reach the arms up. Then we're going to turn and square off to that right foot. Lifting through the lower back. And then as you exhale, try to get your belly to your thigh. Inhale, lengthen your back. Exhale, fold a little deeper. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, let the forehead come down towards your knee or your shin. Inhale, come back to center. Reaching the arms up, square off to that left foot and then pin forward. Inhale, you try to lengthen your back. Exhale, heart comes to thigh. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chest to knee. Inhale, lengthen. And then forehead comes down to the knee and shift. Come back to center. This time the right elbow goes on the inside of the right thigh. And the left arm reaches up and overhead. Depending on how open you are, you can try to reach that left arm towards your right foot. 
you're going to rotate towards that right foot, placing the right hand behind you. See if you can grab the right foot with your left hand and add a little bit of a twist here. So bring it back to center. Repeat. Inhale. Left arm inside the left leg. Right arm reaches over. Again, if you feel open enough, you can take that right arm overhead. And then we're going to add a little twist here. That right arm grabs the left foot. Left hand reaches behind you. Using your breath to help you go a little bit deeper. Slow inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose. And then come back to center. We're going to cross the legs one more time. Inhale, reaching the arms up. Exhale, fold over your legs. Back to feel a little bit more open, hips a little bit more open. Your hands behind you, opening up the chest. Roll the shoulders back. Lift the sternum up to the sky. Let the head reach back. Deep breath into the collarbones, squeezing the shoulder blades together. And then one more time, fold forward. Right, so you can come back up to center, reverse the legs. One more time with a little chest, open your hand, go behind you, roll the shoulders back. Lift the heart. Nice deep, full breaths into the heart space, into the collarbone. Spread them nice and wide. Good. Come back to center. One more fold. Make you feel nice and ready to practice your yoga. Do a little shoulder stretch before we get started. Take that right arm across, use the left arm, gentle pressure. One more inhale, one more exhale, and then release, other side. Deep breaths into your nose, hold it at the top for a second. Exhale through your nose. All right, let's get started. Go to the top of your mat and stand up. All right, starting at the top of your mat in mountain pose, feet are hip width distance apart, shoulders are relaxed. Take a nice deep breath in, reaching the arms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Again, inhale, arms come up. This time at the top, we're going to interlace the finger, releasing the index finger. And you're going to take a bend over to the right. Nice stretch in the left side body. Try not to collapse into the right side. Think about lengthening out of that right hip. Inhale back to center. Exhale to the left. Again, not just collapsing into the left. Expanding that left rib cage, even though you're bending towards it. Inhale to center. So we're going to exhale, fold with a flat back, reaching down to the ground, and then release the head. Inhale, look up, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. This time when you exhale, fold. You're going to jump your feet back to a plank position, spreading the fingers nice and wide, elbows stay close to the body, go down to your chaturanga, inhale to up dog, and you're going to look over that right shoulder, one more neck stretch, and then take back center, and looking over the left shoulder, so bring to the middle, roll over the toes, hips go high, downward facing dog, pedal out the feet, loosening up the hamstrings. All right, we're going to shift your weight forward, take your gaze up, shift your shoulders over the wrist into plank, and then back to downward facing dog. 
one more time here. Look up, shift into plank, exhale, downward facing dog. With the next inhale, you're going to extend that right leg up, and then exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, kick it back up. Exhale, step the right foot behind the right wrist. Turn the left foot to 45 degrees. Inhale, the arms up overhead into warrior one. Think about keeping the hips pointing forward, squaring the hips and shoulders. Nice. Release the hands to the ground. Step that right foot back. Go through your flow into chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. And then as you exhale, roll over the toes, downward facing dog. This time you're going to inhale the left leg up, exhale left knee to nose, inhale left leg back up, exhale left foot steps behind the left wrist, turn the right foot 45 degrees, inhale the arms overhead, squaring the hips and shoulders facing forward, bend into that left knee, and and then with the exhale, place your hands on the ground, stepping that left foot back. Exhale through Chaturanga. Inhale to Up Dog. Rolling over the toes. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Take a nice deep inhale. And as you exhale, you're going to hop your feet up to meet your hands. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, round and fold. And then inhale, roll up to standing. Arms reaching overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Take a nice big inhale. We're going to reach the arms up again. This time you're going to release the right hand down the side and reach the left arm overhead. Another side body stretch. Nice big inhale into that left rib cage. And as you exhale, you're going to place that left hand down and grab the outside of your right ankle. And a little twist here. Roll the shoulders open, chest opens. The right arm reaches up towards the sky. You have a soft bend in your knee if you feel tight here. And then release to center and roll yourself up to standing. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, heart center. Next inhale, arms reach up. This time the left arm comes down, right arm reaches overhead. Nice deep inhale into that right rib cage. As you exhale, the right hand comes down, grabs the outside of the left ankle, opening up the chest, reaching the left arm up towards the sky. Nice, and release the hands back to the ground. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, round the back, release the head. Inhale up, exhale, hop back through Chaturanga, inhale to Up Dog, and then you're going to exhale back to Downward Facing Dog, grab a couple breaths here, keep the fingers spread nice and wide, hips lifted, inhale, lift the right leg up, exhale, step the right foot between the hands, turning the left foot 90 degrees, so you're in Warrior Two, arms spread nice and wide, Right knee should be directly over the right ankle. And then as you inhale, you're going to reach forward as far as you can. And as you exhale, place the left hand on the back leg, reaching that right arm over your head to reverse your warrior. And with your next inhale, you're going to place that right elbow on your right knee. Lift the left arm up overhead into an extended side angle. If you want to go a little deeper, you can reach that left arm over your head and slide the right hand down to the inside of your front foot. Think about tucking the right rib cage under the left, and then as you release, you're going to straighten both legs. Inhale the arms up, lift the chest, slight arch in the upper back, and then you're going to bring your hands to heart center and skanda to the left, bending that left knee. Right leg stays nice and straight, flexing the right toes. Grab an inhale, and as you exhale, turn towards that left foot, stepping the left foot back to meet the right. Go down to your chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. 
exhale, downward facing dog. Have an inhale and an exhale. Nice. With the next inhale, you're going to lift the left foot this time. And step the left foot in between your hands, turning the right foot 90 degrees. Open up the arms, warrior two. Taking that gaze over the left fingertips. With the next inhale, you're going to reach forward as far as you can. And then as you exhale, lift the left arm overhead. Right arm reaches for the back leg. So an inhale. And as you exhale, that left elbow is going to come down onto the left knee. Right arm comes overhead. If you want to take it a little deeper, you can bring that right arm all the way over your head in your extended side angle pose and bring the left hand to the inside of your left foot. Nice. And then straight out both legs again. Inhale the arms up, lifting the chest. Exhale, hands to heart center. And bending the right knee this time, you're going to skanda over to the right, flexing the left toes. turning towards that right foot, stepping the right foot back to meet the left, go through your flow. Exhale into Chaturanga, inhaling up dog, exhale downward facing dog. Start walking your feet slowly, baby steps up towards your hands, get up to the top, fold forward, little sway side to side, reaching the fingers towards one foot and then the other, and then stopping back in the middle, get another little pull, grabbing the back of the calves, and heel toe your feet so your big toes touch, a little space between the heels, drop your hips low into chair pose. Let's take an inhale, reaching that right arm back as you exhale, and then inhale, lift both arms up. And as you exhale, reach the left arm back. Nice. Inhale, both arms come up. Exhale, right arm reaches back. Inhale, both arms reach up. One last time, left arm reaches back with the exhale. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, stand it up tall, arching back. Inhale to stand. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, plant the palms, hop back. Down to Chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Next inhale, step the right foot behind the right wrist, turn the left foot to 45 degrees, and then inhale the arms to warrior one. Exhale, interlace the hands behind the back, opening the chest, squeezing the shoulder blades together, lift the heart. So then from here, we're going to hinge at the hips and bring the right shoulder on the inside of the right knee, lifting the arms overhead much as you can comfortably. Try to let the head hang heavy. The arms a little bit more. Next, next inhale, come up to standing. Straightening out the front leg. You can scoot that back leg in a little bit. Square off the hips. Hinge from your hips with a nice flat back as far as you can and then reach forward into pyramid pose. Keep that left hip pointing forward, right hip moving back. Here we're going to walk the hands forward a little bit. You're going to extend the left leg back. Try to work on getting the heel up as high as the hip. So we're going to rotate lifting the right arm up towards the sky. And then release, step the left foot back and walk the hands into the middle. Get a little release here, 
walking your hands to the left foot and then to the right foot. So back into the middle, grab both ankles and pull your head down. As you inhale, lift your hips a little higher and as you exhale, pull your head between your legs a little more. And we're gonna reach that right arm over and grab the left foot. And from here, you're gonna lift that left arm up towards the ceiling, rotating through the spine. Walk the hands over towards the left foot. Drop the right knee. And we're going to loosen up the hamstrings one more time, straightening out that left leg, and then re-bend into your lunge, making sure the left knee is over the left ankle. Inhale the arms up. Interlace your fingers, releasing the index finger. And just rock side to side. Continuing to open up the side body. And then take your gaze up towards the sky, reaching back, and release that right hand to the right hamstring. Lifting the chest. Nice. From here, straighten out that left leg. Flex the toes back towards your face and walk the right hand over that left leg. Try to keep those left toes pointing back towards your body. Don't let them fall to the side. And then walk your hands forward. Back into a high crescent lunge. Back knee lifts. Arms reach up nice and high about sinking the hips straight down. Left knee is still over that left ankle. From here, you're gonna wrap the right arm under the left, grabbing hands, or you can hold shoulders. From here, you're gonna transfer your weight into that left foot and step the right foot around, wrapping it into Eagle's Pose. Try to keep everything hugging the midline. Sink your hips a little bit lower, and then unravel your balance into warrior three. Right leg extends back, arms extend out to the sides. Bringing the hands to the ground. We're going to open up into half moon pose. Right hip stacks over the left, right foot is flexed. So you can open that right rib cage. Step the foot back into warrior two and reverse the warrior. Grab an inhale. And as you exhale, straighten out the left leg, getting a release in that front leg. Perfect. From here, you're going to inhale, reaching that left arm forward as far as you can. Open up the left side body and then drop the left hand down onto the shin. Opening the right arm up into triangle pose. Think of trying to stack the right hip on top of the left hip. Then bring the right hand down to the ground. We're going to revolve the triangle. Left arm reaches up this time. Now trying to get the left rib cage on top of the right rib cage. And release. Left arm comes down. We're going to shift the weight into that left foot again. Re-extend the right leg back. If you want to grab the back of the left calf. In your standing splits, you can do so. And then release. Right foot comes to the ground. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale and fold. All right, we're going to stretch out the wrists, lift the toes, place the hands underneath the toes, walking the toes up to meet the crease of the wrists. Inhale, lengthen your back. Exhale, fold. Think about shifting the weight into your toes a little bit more and massaging the wrists. And then you're going to release and reverse it. Place the tops of your hands on the mat this time. And then walk your toes up to meet the wrists. Inhale, lengthen your back. Exhale, fold. Let the weight shift into your toes a little bit more. Inhale to a flat back, exhale and fold. Inhale, roll yourself all the way up to standing. As you exhale, arch the back, lift the chest. Nice. Inhale, back to standing. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms reach up tall. Lift up onto your tiptoes. Nice. Keeping your back nice and straight, bring the hands to heart center. And then you're going to imagine you're just sliding down a wall as you bend your knees. Trying to get your hips to go all the way down to your heels. 
want more of a challenge, you can try to get your knees to tap the mat in front of you. Keeping the back nice and straight, you're going to bring yourself straight back up to vertical. Inhale, arms come up, staying on your tiptoes. From here, you're going to bring the arms nice and wide, dropping the chest towards the knees, and then place the hands on the ground. Get ready to go into crow. You can try to get those knees up onto your triceps, lifting the feet off the ground, and then shoot back into your chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Have a couple breaths here. Your next inhale, you're going to extend the left leg up, set the left foot behind the left wrist, turn the right foot to 45 degrees, inhale the arms up to warrior one, exhale, interlace your fingers behind your back, roll the shoulders back, lifting the chest, spreading the collarbones, and then you're going to hinge forward at the hips, taking that left shoulder to the inside of the left knee, lifting the arms up overhead. Try to let the head hang heavy here again. Imagine one day that head's going to touch the ground. As so with an inhale, you're going to lift yourself back up to standing. Release the hands, straightening out the front leg. Step the right foot in a little bit. Hinge at the hips with a nice flat back. And then when you get parallel to the floor, reach the hands down. Trying to keep the hip square so the right hip pushes forward, left hip pushes back. Get a nice stretch in the back of that left hamstring. One more breath here. And as you inhale, look up, walk your hands forward, extend the right leg back behind you. Right foot is flexed, left arm reaches out to the side. If you want to go a little deeper, you can try to stack that left shoulder on top of the right shoulder as you twist. And then as we release, you're going to step that right foot back and bring your forehead over to that right shin. And then take it over to the left shin and then to the middle. And you can stay here or you can drop your head to the mat and lift your feet up to headstand for a breath. And then as you exhale, bring your feet back down. Good. And going back to our twist, you're going to walk your hands over to that right leg. Left hand grabs the outside of the right ankle. Give yourself a little pull and twist. And then you can extend the right arm up towards the sky. Again, trying to stack that right shoulder on top of the left. Keep the left hip lifted. Your hip should feel even. And then as you release, you're going to walk yourself over towards that right foot. Drop the left knee down onto the mat. Get a little hamstring stretch, straightening out the right leg, and then re-bend into that low lunge. The right knee is directly over the right foot. Inhale, arms come up tall. Interlace the fingers. Shift your weight side to side for a breath. And then as you reach up, you're going to release that left hand to the back of the left leg. Try to keep your shoulders and hips square, facing forward. Imagine somebody was lifting you from your chest, and then release your hands, straightening out the front right leg, flex the feet towards you, and walk your left hand over that right foot. Nice, keeping those toes pointing up towards your face. You should feel this in the outside of that right leg. And as you exhale, walk it back to center, re-bend the front knee, lift the back leg off the mat, nice straight left leg, inhale the arms up to crescent pose, Exhale, sink the hips deeper. And then as you inhale, we're going to wrap the left arm under the right arm this time. So you can bind the hands. You're going to shift your weight into that front right leg, lifting the left leg off the mat. And wrap that left leg around the right leg into eagle pose. You're going to squeeze everything into that midline, sinking the hips a little bit deeper. We unravel, you're going to extend that left leg behind you, reaching the arms out to the sides and wings. Hold here for a breath, focusing on that drishti point. 
focus point and then set the right hand down to open up so that the left hip is on top of the right hip, left arm's reaching up, and open up through the rib cage. And then as you step back into warrior two, we're gonna reverse the warrior. Grab an inhale here. And then as you exhale, you're gonna straighten that front right leg. A little release in that front leg. Just from here, you're gonna inhale, reaching that right hand forward as much as you can, extending through that right rib cage, and then place the right hand down on the right shin. The left arm reaches up towards the sky. Stacking the left rib cage on top of the right rib cage this time. Try to keep that right hip tucked under the left hip. And then we're going to reverse the triangle. Left hand comes down to the ground. Right arm reaches up. Now we're trying to stack the left rib cage underneath the right rib cage. Nice extension through the spine pushing through the outside of the foot, and then walk the hands forward into standing splits. You want to grab the back of the right calf and pull your forehead closer to your shin. You can keep lifting that straight left leg as high as you can, and step the feet together. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, roll yourself all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands to heart center. So now we're going to take your feet as wide as your mat, maybe a little wider. If this pose is hard for you, you can point the toes out. You're going to drop into Malasana. Hips come low. Elbows inside the knees. Think about straightening the vertebrae as much as you can. Stacking one on top of the other. Release if you feel like your hips are holding on real tight. You can always put a block under your hips. And then release, lift the hips up to the sky, shake them side to side. So we're going to go one more time into that, drop the hips back down, elbows inside the knees. And we're going to place the right hand on the ground, left arm reaches up to get a little twist here in Malasana. Left hand down, and right arm reaches up. To make it harder you can always reach around and find you don't have to and release hands come to the floor hips go back high shake it side to side one more time with bakasana bringing the el the knees way up high into the armpits try to lift the feet off the ground make sure you have a focus point about six inches in front of your fingertips and when you're first learning this you can always put a pillow under your head if you want a little more of a challenge you can practice extending one leg up in the air or not and then when you've had enough you're going to hop your feet back into chaturanga inhale to up dog and then exhale back to downward facing dog job. All right, we're going to do a little twist here. You're going to take that left hand and reach it back in between your feet. And then you're going to press with your hand. See if you can extend that left leg up. Nice. And then try the other side. Bring the right hand between your feet. And then extend that right foot up. Get one more inhale in your downward facing dog. One more exhale, looking at your hands, hop your feet into a cross-legged position. Standing in mountain pose, make sure your weight's evenly distributed between all four corners of your feet. Shoulders relaxed, inhale, reaching up, interlace the fingers at the top, release the index finger, and take a side bend over to the right, Taking your gaze under your left arm. Feel a lot more length in your side body than when you started this. And then as you inhale, come to center. Exhale over to the left this time. Taking your gaze under your right arm. Good. And then we're going to inhale back 
to center. Exhale, open the hands into a back bend, reaching back, lifting the chest. And then we're going to fold, reaching the arms down to the feet. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, fold again. Having the backs of the calves, if you want to go a little deeper, or walk your hands side to side. Feel how open the hamstrings feel now. And then bring it back to center. One last pull on the back of the legs. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, hop the feet back, down through Chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. And we're going to exhale, hips high, downward facing dog. I just want to work on the hips a little bit here. You're going to take that right foot and step it to the outside of the right hand. Then we're going to drop that left knee back down into lizard pose. This might be as far as you want to go. It's fine. If your hips are a little bit more open, you can drop down to your elbows. Stay here for a few breaths. Try to release a little bit of that tension in your hips if you feel like it's really uncomfortable or you're gripping. See if you can send the breath down into that right hip crease. You can also think about lengthening the spine. A little more space. And then we're going to come up back onto the hands if you're on your elbows. Walk that right foot over to the left hand, and then let the right knee drop behind the right wrist into pigeon pose. And if your hips are really tight, you can put a block under that right hip. Make it a little more comfortable. I get three or four breaths here. Again, we don't want the hips to be uneven. So we want to try to get that left hip pointing down. Toes of the left foot tucked under. Make sure that left knee is hidden. And as you exhale, start to lift your chest, coming out of the pose. We're going to do a nice release in that right hip. We're going to tuck the left toes and send the right foot up high in the sky. Couple kicks, bending that right knee, and then take your gaze under your left arm and lift your dog into wild thing. A nice release in that right hip. Okay, bring your right hand back to the ground, and you're going to step that right foot all the way up to meet the right hand. We're going to go into our low lunge. So the left knee comes back down on the mat. Right knee is directly over the right foot. Inhale the arms up. Think about your hips staying nice and heavy towards the ground. And release that left hand, grabbing the left hamstring just like we did earlier. Open up that left hip flexor. And reach back a little further. And then bring the right hand on the inside of the right foot. Left arm reaches up, twisting the shoulders. Try to get that left shoulder on top of the right shoulder. And left hand comes down. Right hand's going to reach back and grab that left foot. A nice little quadricep stretch here. Hand grab the foot from the outside of that left foot. Keep the thumbs up by your big toe. You might be too tight to grab that way. You want to keep the knee in line. Five. From here, you're going to tuck the left toes, straighten that left leg, and reach the right arm up and then back towards the back of your mat, letting that right knee fall out towards the outside edge of your mat a little bit. Right hand back down, step back into plank, down to chaturanga. Inhale to up dog, and exhale downward facing dog breath. Grab a couple breaths here before you transition to the other side. Remember to keep those fingers spread nice and wide. Hips lifted. Chest pressing towards the thighs. Good. Here you're going to step that right foot to the top of the mat and then you're going to turn all ten toes towards me. 
Inhale, arms come up into a little back bend. Exhale and fold, grabbing the back of the calves. A little pull in there. So you can relax the shoulders a little bit. Let the weight of the world fall off with your shoulders. Use the head. Swing your inhale to a flat back. Exhale, fold one more time. This time, interlace your hands behind your back. A little shoulder stretch here. Use your breath as you inhale so you can pull the hands above your head more. As you exhale, let your head hang heavier. Release your hands to the ground. Walk your hands over to the left foot. We're going to do lizard on the left. This time, the right knee comes down on the mat. Tuck the right toes under. And if you're happy here, you can stay right here in your lizard. Or if you want to go a little deeper, you can go down onto your elbows. Try to keep those hips even. So the left hip's going to push back a little bit as the right hip comes forward. Keep some space in your spine. A little lengthen the vertebrae. One more inhale. Then we're going to walk that left foot over to the right hand. Then the left knee goes behind the left wrist into your pigeon pose. Then remember if your hips are really tight, you can put a block or a blanket under that left hip. Try to keep that right knee tucked under. We'll come to lay all the way down onto your forearms. Think about sending some breath into that left hip. As you exhale, let yourself melt a little bit more. Just inhale here. And as you exhale, you're going to walk yourself up. You're going into the wild thing on this side. So you're going to tuck the right toes. Pick the left foot up. Looking under your right arm. You're going to flip that dog by setting the left foot down behind you, lifting the chest up towards the sky, reaching the left arm back, breathe into that space across your collarbones, and then flip back around, stepping the left foot to the left hand, drop down on that right knee again, going back into that low lunge, inhale the arms up. Make sure that left knee is staying over the left ankle. Hips are heavy, pointing straight down. And it's lifting the chest. And then release the right hand to the right hamstring one more time. A nice opening in that right hip flexor. And then we're going to add a little twist. That left hand comes inside the left foot. Right arm reaches up, stacking the right shoulder on top of the left shoulder. Really trying to spin through that right rib cage. Nice. And from here, place your right hand on the ground. Go ahead and leave your right knee down on the ground as you lift your left arm up, opening the chest, and then reach back and capture the right foot with your left hand, trying to grab the outer edge of the right foot. See if you can open the collarbones, spin that right shoulder around, really open up the left shoulder, and then as you release, we're going to straighten out that right leg and then reach the left arm towards the back of the mat. From here, you're going to place the left hand back down on the ground. Step the left foot back to meet the right. And here we're going to go into side plank. So you're going to stack the hips, rotate onto the left foot. You want to make it a little harder, you can lift that right leg up in the air or reach your left arm overhead. And spinning over onto the right side, lifting the left arm up and over your head. You want to raise your left leg up also, go for it. And here we're going to drop back to plank. And we're going to drop down onto the elbows. Make sure the elbows are directly under the shoulders, hands are flat on the mat. Here in plank, and then walk your feet into dolphin pose. So the head's not touching the ground. 
Trying to lift the tailbone up high. From here, you can extend the right leg up in the air. Switch, extend the left leg up, breathing, slow breaths into your nose, out to your nose, and then set the left foot down. Take your gaze up to your fingers. If you want a little more of a challenge, you can do some hops. If you feel ready, you can kick all the way up. The gaze up in between your hands, and then step down. Walking back into your plank position, and then bring your knees down. Hips sit back onto your heels into child's pose. Get some breaths here. Slow down your heart rate. From here, we're going to walk our hands forward, lifting your chest at first. Nice straight line from your hips all the way to your fingertips. And you're just going to let your chest melt down towards the ground into puppy pose. You can set your forehead down, but you don't have to. You can get a little more stretch by looking up a little bit. One more round of breath here. Slow inhale. A slow exhale. And lift up onto all fours. We'll do a couple rounds of cat cow. Dropping the belly, arching the back, lift the head, and then round the spine. Back to the breath. Inhale as you look up. Exhale as you round. Inhale, look up. Round up, exhale. From here, go to neutral. We're going to extend that right leg out to the side behind us. Right arm goes up, and then you reach back and capture your foot for one more quad stretch. Nice chest opener here. Release, bring the hand down to the ground. Step that right foot forward into that low lunge. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, we're going to twist. So the right hand's going to reach back to the left hamstring this time. Left hand comes across the front knee. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, take your gaze back towards that left foot. And then we're going to release. I'm going to turn around so that my back's not to you, but you can keep facing the way you are. From here, we're going to go to all fours again. Starting cat cow. Inhale, open up and arch. Exhale, tuck the hips and round. Inhale, look up one more time. Exhale, round through the spine. Now you're going to extend the left leg this time. Reach back, capture your left foot with your left hand. Now take that quad stretch on the left side. Inhale, smooth exhale, and then step that left foot forward. Into that low lunge again, arms come up. Sinking the hips down low, and then we're going to twist. Left hand reaches back and grabs the right hamstring. Right hand reaches across that left knee. Inhale, nice long spine. Exhale, use your arm muscles to help you twist a little bit further. Nice. Hands come down to the mat. Step it back. Hips go high. Downward facing dog. Reach across with that left hand. Grab the outside of the right calf and twist. Looking under your right arm. And then another twist on the other side. Right hand grabs the outside of the left calf. Looking under your left arm. From here, you're going to jump forward, sitting crisscross on the floor. Find a nice, comfortable seated position and inhale your arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Again, inhale, arms to reach up. Exhale, we're going to twist over towards the left. 
right arm comes across your body, left arm reaches back behind you, slightly twisted before, inhale and think lengthening the spine, exhale, take your gaze over that left shoulder, and then release, reaching it up, and reaching forward, just like we started the series. Feel a lot more space in the lower back now, a lot more space in the hips, walk the hands over to the right, that left sits bone anchored down. And push a little bit with your right hand. Get a little deeper into the fold. Nice. Walk it back to the center. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, we're twisting to the right this time. Right hand reaches behind you. Left arm comes over on top of the right knee. Inhale, create length through the vertebrae. And exhale, ring it out. Take your gaze a little bit further over that right shoulder. And release, bring it back to center. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, we'll fold forward one more time. Exhale, you're going to reach those hands over to the left. And the right sits bone anchored down. And your breaths, release the hips a little bit more. Slowly bring it to center. Roll yourself up. Inhale, reach up nice and tall. Exhale, hands to heart center. You're going to extend the legs out in front of you to a pike position. Inhale tall. Exhale reach either the feet or the back of the calves, whatever keeps good posture. If your hamstrings are really tight, you can also use a strap to give you a little bit more leverage. Think of it inhaling to lengthen the spine, and then as you exhale, chest goes towards your thighs. Inhale, lengthen a little bit more, and then as you exhale, forehead to shins. And eventually work your way down, so maybe you don't need the strap, you can just grab your feet. Nice, and then release. You're going to take that left leg and cross it over the right leg. You see a twist here. First, stack the vertebrae nice and tall, then wrap that right arm around the left leg. Left hand goes behind you over the left shoulder. One last inhale. And exhale. I'm going to do a little counter twist here. I'm going to twist over to the right. Place your hands on the right side. And you're going to lift that right hip up off the ground. Left arm comes up overhead. Nice little release there. And you come back down. From here we're going to do a little piriformis stretch. So you're going to keep that left foot crossed on your right leg and then bend the right knee. And you can stay right here if this is comfortable or enough of a stretch for you. If you want to take it a little deeper, you can roll onto your back and then you can grab onto your right hamstring and pull that right leg in a little closer. Or you can hold onto the front of the right shin get even a deeper stretch here. Feel the stretch in that left hip. Some more breaths. One other option if you want to go even deeper is to cradle that left foot by wrapping the left knee into the left elbow and wrapping that right arm around the right the left foot or you can try to bring that left foot over your head whatever variation works for you be here for a couple more breaths of you, reach the arms overhead, get a nice long body stretch, and then bring the knees into the chest, hugging your shins. And this time, just hang on to that right knee, extend the left leg out in front of you. 
taking that right knee towards the right shoulder, and then we're going to take that right leg across your body. Extend the right arm out to the side, and use the left arm as a guide. A little extra weight to try to push that right knee down towards the ground. Finishing off the spinal twist. Bring that right knee up to the right shoulder one more time. And then bring the left knee up to meet it. Rock side to side. And we're going to rock and roll a couple times back to a seated position. From here, you can use your strap again. You're going to extend your legs out in front of you in a pipe position. Right, inhale, nice, tall, long back. And then exhale and hinge forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, compress. One more time. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold a little deeper. Okay. Release that. This time you're going to take the right leg, bring it in, and cross it over your left leg. Hug it in nice and tight to your chest. Stack the vertebrae nice and tall, and then twist to the right. Right hand reaches back, left, left arm comes across your right knee. Use your breath to create some space in the vertebrae. Exhale, twist a little deeper. Nice, and we're going to move into a counter twist. Just come over to the left. Press with the hand, lift the left hip off the ground, reach that right arm up and over your head. Let's release your hips back to the ground. Keeping that right foot on top of the left leg, bend your left knee, bring your left heel towards your left glute. Doing the piriformis stretch here. You can take the same option you did on the other side. You can lie on your back, reach for your back of your left hamstring. Deeper by grabbing the front of the left shin. So you want to play around with cradling your foot in the crook of your elbow. Or you can even really try to bring that foot over your head. that. Straighten out the legs out in front of you. Reach your arms overhead. Another long body stretch. Bring both knees into your chest. Give them a hug. This time hang on to that left knee. Extend the right leg out to the ground. Left knee comes up to the shoulder and then we're going to bring it across your body. Using the right hand as a little bit of pressure on that left leg and extend the left leg, left arm out to the side. Bring the knees back into the chest. Rock it side to side. We're moving into our plow pose from here. You're going to lift your feet up over your head. And then take the hands to the lower back for support, working on bringing the elbows close together. If you don't quite touch, that's okay. You can also prop a block under your back for some support. The breast here.
extend one leg up towards the sky. And then switch. Extend the other leg up. And then we can try bringing both legs up into shoulder stand. legs in your shoulder stand. Try to pop your legs. And then we're going to bring the knees down by the ears. Feel comfortable. It's not too much pressure on your neck. You can reach back and grab your feet. Imagine plugging up the ears with your knees. Holding on to your feet, slowly roll down one vertebrae at a time. Roll your back goes all the way down. Keep hanging on to your feet and let your feet come wide into happy baby. So imagine trying to pull your knees to the ground on the outside of your rib cage. You're holding on to the outer edge of your feet. You can just rock side to side, just like a happy baby. Let's try extending one leg. 